Good morning, Fredericksburg. What a crowd. What a crowd. Welcome, all of you. Welcome to the grand reopening of Logan's Roadhouse. We are so excited to be here today. I'm Eric Fletcher. I'm the chairman of the Chamber of Commerce here in the Fredericksburg region. Uh, and we're here today just to welcome back uh, a great restaurant. As so many of you are and so many people excited today to open these doors and get in there and get some good food. Uh, so I'll, I'll tell the folks at Logan's, just please remember to use your chamber membership. We are here to help your business always. That's why we exist. So now I'd like to introduce uh, Kevin Marshall. Kevin is with the Spotsylvania County Supervisors. Kevin. Thank you, Eric. I'd like to welcome, I'd like to welcome everybody here to Spotsylvania County. Uh, it's great to be here at Spotsylvania Town Center. Opening up Logan's Roadhouse again. Um, it's good food. It's some good times here. I'm glad to see this turnout. This is probably one of the largest ribbon cuttings that I've ever done. It's a probably 200 people here. It's, it's great to see that here in Spotsylvania County. Um, I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Cam Cameron. Thank you. So, just a quick uh, shout out um, to Logan's and the renovation. I'm glad you're here. It's a it's it's a big project for us, and we're excited about it. Uh, we serve uh, awesome wood grilled steak, so it's mes mesquite wood. And again, we're excited to, to have you here. I know that uh, we're just in between you and lunch, so I'll, I'll make it brief. But I did want to say thank you to the, if I don't butcher this, Massaponics cheerleading crew and the coaches. So thank you very much. So, so this location makes 137 Logans across the United States, including five in Virginia. And then our, our uh, uh, company, SPB Hospitality, also owns another 150 restaurants across the country and four more here in the D.C. Um, Fredericksburg area. So excited to be here again. Uh, we do do a lot of work with uh, different charities, and, and right now we are working with the Special Olympics. So that being said... <laughs> I'd like to bring up uh, Matthew Doyle to uh, say a few words for us. Thank you, guys. James Doyle, and I would like to start by thanking you Logan's Roadhouse for allowing me to speak to you today. Just to tell you a little about myself, I'm 31 years old, and I live here in Stafford, Virginia. <laughs> when I was born, I was diagnosed with Down Syndrome. People that are born with Down Syndrome all have one thing in common. We are really cool people. <laughs> Because of my disability, I am saying that I'm able to compete in Special Olympics. I'm also a Special Olympics Virginia Global Messenger. And I am the former Special Olympics Virginia Athlete of the Year. <laughs> Since joining Special Olympics, I have competed in track and field, soccer, basketball, taekwondo, and I do golf, and tennis. None of this would be possible without the support of the community partners like the Logan's Roadhouse. <laughs> I'm also the member of the Stafford County Sheriff's Special Stafford's Cadet Program. And now I serve as an advisor for that force. In fact, I'm a total member of that force, and I was appointed as the first captain by my friend, the Stafford County Sheriff, Charles Jett. For the past five years, I have served under law enforcement, Torch One Executive Council as the athlete representative. 
In my short life, I have faced many challenges. When I was young, I was made fun of and called mean names because of my disability. Since then, I have given many speeches at schools, and I received steady innovation, and students lined up to get my autograph. When I was born, the doctors told my mom that I would have problems with my speech. Now, I have stated before you as a Special Olympics Virginia Global Messenger, and I have spoke in front of, in front of thousands of people. Because of my disability, I didn't take my first step until I was almost three years old. I am now the proud Special Olympics Virginia athlete, and I have stated earlier a former athlete of the year. Yeah. To you and all of you, with and without a disability, I offer some advice. Never let anyone tell you let 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 you anyone tell you that you can't. Show them that you can. Never let anyone tell you that you won't. Show them that you will. Never let anyone look at you in pity and make them look at you and say, wow. Never let anyone judge you by your disability and make them judge you by your ability. Most people with disabilities will tell you that all we want from you is your acceptance and a chance. An acceptance of us as your friends, neighbors, classmates, and co-workers, and a chance to prove our abilities and showcase our character. In the closing today, I would like to say that although I'm very proud to be a Special Olympics athlete, I'm also very proud to be allowed to speak to you today. In the keeping with the spirit of Special Olympics, I would like to say our own. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Thank you all very much, and thank you for letting me speak to you today. Have a great day, and God bless you all. Awesome. Thank you very much, Matthew. So let's bring up the general manager to uh, say a few words for us and get this party started. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm so thankful to be back uh, in this community to serve each and every one of you. As you can see, it's 100 free tickets, but we have way more than 100 people out here to come and dine with us. I, I cannot thank you all enough. I would not be here without those fine folks behind you. My team members. The team members that we've selected to take great care of you guys. And they're looking forward to taking care of you each and every day. There's a few team members that I would like to recognize that have had an amazing attitude throughout this whole training experience, that have, had made, that have made mistakes, learned from those mistakes, and have grown from those mistakes. The first one I'd like to recognize is Victoria Brown. <laughs> Victoria Brown uh, has been with us obviously just for a short period of time, but she's got an into intoxicating smile and a great attitude. Thank you so much. for your amazing attitude, willing to help at every opportunity. I wouldn't be here without the two of you and the rest of them. Thank you all so very much.
All right, now I've said enough. I'm ready to take care of you guys. I'm ready to cut the ribbon. Jeff? Poppers? No. no. Ready? Wait, what? Wait, wait. Wait, one sec. Let me just make sure. You need to get. Stand back. Order. That's good. Thank you all. Oh.